Wow. I'm Mitchell from Australia, and this is yet another simple observation that anyone can do at home. You have a coin and a flat table, and I'm going to demonstrate how we can make an object disappear bottom up without the need of curvature, or without the need of a physical obstruction for that matter. Now you globers are going to sit at home and say that table is just higher than the observer height or the camera height. Now let's get that sorted quick smart. When we zoom in, we increase the focal length and increase the angular resolution. And we can resolve that coin in its entirety. As you can see, the bottom of the coin shining And when you zoom back out, the coin is unresolvable again. Nice flat table, no physical obstruction. This is all optical. There's absolutely no obstruction here. This is due to angular resolution. The angle from the observer to the coin was far too small to resolve the coin. Now when I lay it down, we can still see the coin flat on the table. No problem. And you can still see some table underneath the coin. But when you zoom out, the angular resolution is way too small to resolve that coin. Nothing to do with physical obstruction. And the table definitely isn't curving. hundred percent of the light of that coin is still reaching the observer. The only thing that is creating this optical illusion of something disappearing bottom up is the angle to which you are viewing the object. As you can see the entire coin is resolved and when you zoom out decreasing the focal length, it's unresolved. Now, if this was a ship out in the water, all you globers would assert that it is Earth curve creating this bottom-up disappearance. But as I've just shown, angular resolution is a thing. Now, what is angular resolution? Well, it all has to do with the way that we view light, whether it be from your eyeball, a camera, or a telescope. In optics, the best focused spot of light that a perfect lens with a circular aperture can make is called the airy disk. Now, as you can see in this left-hand side, there are two points of light and two airy disks. They are both resolved. Now when they get closer together, this meets the Rayleigh criterion or the diffraction limit. And so the Rayleigh criterion specifies the minimum separation between two light sources that may be resolved into each distinct object. And when the light sources get even closer on the right hand side, they become unresolvable. So relating this to my observation, when the coin is closer to the camera, it is fully resolved. As you start moving the coin away from the camera, it meets the Rayleigh criterion or the diffraction limit. And this creates a greater, a smaller angle, making the coin disappear bottom up. And when you move the coin further away, it becomes fully unresolved. Now, as I said, 100% of the light from that coin is still reaching the camera. It's just unresolved. But when you zoom back in, you increase the focal length and you increase the angle at what you are viewing that object. Now, when you zoom in enough, it will meet the Rayleigh criterion where you can see 
the two distinct objects again, the coin and the table. And when you get past that diffraction limit, you can fully resolve the object. Now this has all to do with the angle that you are viewing an object. Now that we know about angular resolution and the diffraction limit, let's add some distance. This pole is about three foot off the water and I'm going to put my camera on top of it. This is a common observation by most people with a zoom camera of seeing a boat disappearing bottom up. But as you can see, it's definitely not going to be due to earth curvature as the horizon is still far in the distance. Now this is a good example of angular size. When you zoom out, it reduces the focal length and the angular size gets so small that it reaches the diffraction limit. When you zoom back in, increasing the focal length, the angular size increases and you can resolve it again. But as you can also see, angular resolution of the image has also changed. And the horizon is still far in the background. Now comparing these two images, on the left, the observer height is one inch, and on the right, the observer height is three foot. And you can see clearly that the boat has started to disappear bottom up. There is no earth curve, as you can see the horizon in the background, but both boats are starting to disappear bottom up. Let's add some more distance. This is Bathurst Lighthouse from 20 kilometers away. The left image is from a 30 meter viewing height and the right image from a 2 meter viewing height. The obstruction in the right image the globe proponents will assert is only from earth curvature and nothing else. But I've shown you in this video the angular resolution can cause obstruction from bottom up without the need of any earth curvature. Now if we continue to zoom in on that right image, we will never be able to resolve the bottom of it. And Globers will say, well that's clearly because it's a physical obstruction from a reified edge of a globe. But in the next two videos that I'm going to release, I will demonstrate there are other factors at play here and none of them have to do with earth curve obstructing any images from bottom up. Wow.